What's up guys, Eric here with Risen Elite Fitness and on today's video we are talking about this little magical being I like to call Edamame. Now, for most of you guys, like it was to me, Edamame, this is actually the first time you hear that word or maybe possibly you've heard it in the past but don't know what Edamame is. What I actually thought it was, was that one monster creature from Doctor Strange. Dormammu? I've come to bargain. Now thinking about it, it his name is Dormammu. It's kind of edamame, Dormammu, you know? I was actually at a store looking for a healthy snack since it wasn't cheat day, so I couldn't really go for the Oreos. Why though? Since it wasn't cheat day, so I couldn't really go for the Oreos. So, these guys caught my eye. Kudos to marketing, a red bag, you know? But from the first looks of it, they look like those magic beans from the Disney movie. Beans! Uh, Peter and the Beanstalk? Giant James and the bean stuff, if I'm not. I say they're wrong because they were wrong. And were they wrong? Are they wrong? I think they're wrong 100%. Sometimes they're wrong. They were wrong. Sometimes they're wrong. Well, first I look at the nutritional facts. Caught my attention right off the bat. High protein, you know? So for one serving, you have four grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of protein. One serving is one third of a cup. Mm, not bad. Got these, tried them, and I went for two more. Now, you can ask the question, what is edamame, you know? Edamame comes from a soy. It comes from soy and it comes in multiple different ways. This is a dried, roasted sea salt whey. We also have edamame frozen edamame, you know? You can uh, cook these and put them in your, uh, in your food, like eat them like with veggies and stuff. But I wanted to, more than anything right now, read you guys the minerals that this bean contains. So this bean contains folate, it contains vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, iron, copper, and magnesium. If I said that right, right? Contains a lot, a lot of vitamin K. But what does vitamin K do for us? Vitamin K is really important when it comes to bones, right? It helps with our bone health and it helps us grow and keep healthy bones. So one, they're yummy. Two, I did the research and they're very high in fibers, very high obviously in protein, high in vitamin K1. It has a bunch of minerals that can help us in multiple situations. Uh, one of them being lower cholesterol. You have less risk for a heart disease. So it has high protein and it's a really good snack um, while you're doing what you're doing and um, wanting to get more protein into your system. The protein in edamame obviously is a soy protein. Obviously we have three kinds of proteins. We have the proteins that are in meats, the proteins that are in milk, which is whey protein, and we have the protein that is in soy. The soy protein can have negative effects on testosterone. So if you're trying to build, uh, obviously you'd like to stick to the whey protein or the meat protein, um, but it is not a bad protein in certain quantities. The only reason why this kind of protein would have a negative effect on testosterone is because of the phytoestrogen found in the soy protein, right? So, in my personal opinion, it is not a bad protein to take, right? You can snack on these, but obviously, if you're trying to build, if you're trying to gain, stick to whey protein. I personally loved it, I liked it. Recommend it to anyone out there looking for um, a good little snack, right, with high protein. Um, for you vegans out there, this is a perfect and awesome, awesome example of protein for you. I would definitely recommend them for a snack. I would recommend them for anyone who is trying to get uh, more protein in there while they're snacking. You know, sometimes you can get sick of the protein uh, bars. I personally don't because there's millions out there, but you know, you never know. Uh, these are really good, really yummy. Like I said, have a lot of nutritional value. Edamame is a really, really, really good soybean. And um, you could also probably find them at any local Asian store if you have one. But here's my edamame review. I've personally really, really, really enjoyed the taste. Um, the frozen way, it hasn't really been that yummy, but it just depends how you like to eat your stuff. Let go of all the, um, you know, all the fatty foods and the fatty snacks. Uh, let's stick to what our goals are and let's actually get these goals out there and working for us. So this is a small little short video on edamame and um, a little snack that I just personally found uh, this weekend. So go ahead and cop that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, subscribe here. 
check out my last video here and let me know what you guys think about edamame if you guys have any other nutrient uh, any other uh, facts about edamame go ahead and comment them down below and um, I'll go ahead and check that out thank you guys for your support thank you guys for your love and for all the views and the subscribers you guys are awesome and are amazing make sure to click the little ding a ling a ling button so you guys get notified every time I upload I will be uploading more about nutrition and sticking more to health um, nutrition wise and uh, how to what to eat uh, if you want to get lean what to eat if you want to bulk go ahead and follow me on all social media Instagram Facebook Twitter obviously here on YouTube I'll put the uh, links on the description down below guys if you guys ever have any questions go ahead and send me a, a message you know DM me on Instagram on Facebook whatever I'm always available but here is my edamame review love these things much love recently fitness Eric Costa out